Yes. Yay. You get some virtual chocolates, George. Because <laughs> you were the first one to say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the facilitator, definitely. So everybody, all of you have it. Um, yeah, so it really, that's what I love most about cooperative learning. You saw those kids and the teacher saying, please be quiet. Well, what I found is with cooperative learning, it's easier to manage big groups because then you can, um, they're so concentrated on their task, you can go from group to group and group and you can make sure that they're being accountable. You can watch and you can observe. So if somebody says, oh, Timmy's not doing his work, you can go and you can talk with Timmy. But in a class setting where they're not in groups, it's really difficult to be everywhere at one time. And I found that this really helped me not to be everywhere at one time. <laughs> so the teacher is the facilitator and you have group tasks. Um, each person plays a role. The other element is uh, sometimes with Kagan cause team building, I mean social skills, but I like to think of it as team building skills because these are things you learn when you do teamwork. And one of them, uh, well, what do you think of as team building skills? Can anybody put it inside the, uh, in the chat box what you think are team building skills, uh, skills that teams need to have, people and students need to learn to have? And it's very surprising when I was in, okay, communicate ideas effectively and nicely. I like that, nicely. <laughs> yes. Uh, you have to learn how to, well, I'll see if somebody else puts the other C word up there. But yeah, communicates ideas effectively and nicely. Yeah, e each person has a task. They have to feel responsible for that. Negotiating, agreeing to disagree, following the leader. These are great ideas. Yes, compromise. Um, it's really difficult for children to to um, learn this sometimes. But in, if you put them in cooperative uh, tasks, then they do learn this. Um, and I found that when I was doing my master's, um, I observed uh, 16 global teams. Most of the adults in those who are taking their masters didn't didn't have a, um, some of these. They all missed one of them. Usually conflict resolution, usually not being able to compromise, sometimes not communicating effectively and sensitively, sometimes being offensive to cultures, offensive to gender, not completing tasks or being responsible, uh, not showing up. So um, yeah, exactly. These things doesn't come out of standardized tests and it's so important now. I always think, uh, you know, about, uh, for example, the oil spill. I think, how come it took so long? And, and, you know, I think maybe they didn't know how to cooperate, communicate effectively. They didn't know how to grab a group together and to really solve this problem. Um, with global teams, you know, we have uh, the environment, the debt crisis, um, and all of those Problems come from a lack of conflict resolution, a lack of collaboration skills, uh, things just like that. So if we are better team builders and we teach the students that, then they'll be able to really solve the issues we couldn't solve because many of us didn't learn this in schools, um, except there may be sports. Okay, so those were the elements, but what I found was my classroom looked like this, and what's wrong with this? classroom. I'll show you later. This is actually from NASA and this is a guest spe uh, speaker. So um, this is kind of why it's this way. Um, but this is what the classroom looked like. Um, this is what, uh, when I taught high school, the same thing. I walked in and the desk looked pretty much exactly like this. Uh, the kids couldn't even fit in the desk. Um, it was just like this. And you can see some of them. You know, you see this girl in the back. Let's see if I can get uh, the pointer here. Oh, let's see. And she's bored. Look at this guy over here. He's nodding off. <laughs> um, and the reason why, um, you know, is is and the teacher is here, and the teacher can't really um, take care of any problems over here and in the back, things like that. Um, and so what happens is, yes, lecturing's good in moderation, but for 
I really think that the classroom itself needs to set up differently. This is how my class was set up and the kids didn't, um, it was really difficult to reach the kids, to get the kids in the back who were goofing off and things like that. So one way is to rearrange the classroom so you have a better um, environment for doing group work. Yeah, exactly, in moderation. So this isn't the ideal setup. Um, oh. Well, we'll go to the ideal setup in a little bit. <laughs> right now we have, uh, okay, one more element I forgot, which is interdependence. Um, interdependence is where the student feels that they have, they what they do and their part is part of the overall goal. Um, so you can see them helping each other on their shoulders and things like that. And it really, um, maybe the first task won't be like this, um, although in my situation, those seven and eight year olds did, and they stopped picking on the kid. They started realizing that that kid had a contribution to their group and had good ideas and was good at, you know, uh, being creative, being an artist, and they loved his talent after that. So I did start noticing this interdependence, uh, that they depended on each other, and then they began to respect each other because they realized that they needed each other's different skills. Okay, so rearrange the classroom. We need to think of a different way to arrange the classroom. Unfortunately, I didn't take any pictures of my tremendous, uh, great, wonderful classroom setup. Um, and I have a very different classroom now. Um, so I went ahead and got some elements of another class. Okay, so you see they actually did have a different classroom setup. It's the same teacher here. From, this is all from the NASA um, website. Um, they have Creative Commons images, so you can take the uh, you can go to NASA's library and they have some creative common images. Um, and so he is here and you see that the desks are set up in circles to where the kids, they can actually look at each other and they can talk to each other. And it's really easy. Um, when I had, I didn't have any technology at the time except for my one laptop that I'm using today. <laughs> and so um, at the time, they didn't have the computers on there, but they had tables very much like this, the children. And they were set up into four or five. Um, Kagan says it, two to four is the best um, number. But um, I have seen larger numbers up to eight. So I, I think it's up to the teacher what they feel comfortable in doing. Um, and then I believe in stations. So not only do we have the circular tables, um, I did have the circular tables so they could work on, but I also had a, a reading set, a station. Um, I had um, a technology station. Since we only have one co uh, computer, um, I had one station set up for that. I have one station set up for coloring, one station set up for, um, and with the high school students, it was a bit different. Um, with the high school students, I had different stations. I had one um, where they could, um, um, the, the kids could read magazines. Um, so I still believe in stations, even at the high school level, and it worked very well. Uh, pillows on the ground so they could sit down. High school students love to sit down. They just do. <laughs> um, and just different areas like that. Uh, for the kids, a dress-up area, a Legos or building or game area. And why do you think stations are important, um, especially with cooperative learning? This is another station. The reading, I had a mat on the floor, um, so that way we could read. <laughs> yeah, definitely cheaper furniture. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They emphasize structure. In the house, um, in, in the house, they know that if they want to play, they're not going to play at the kitchen table uh, because um, the parents have taught them the dining room table is to eat. Um, well, in most cases. <laughs> Some of you might be saying, no, my, my child still plays. But, <laughs> but, but each room has, uh, the child knows, okay, when I go into this room, 